Today, we are finishing 5.5. Again, we can applause. This is a monumental day. We finished all of our lessons. This is good, this is good, okay? I'm Lydia Newquist, and I am a first year teacher at South High School, and I teach math, and I've almost finished my first semester. You gotta stick with me through this, because if you stop at the first sentence and call it quits, it's gonna be a long road ahead. So your textbook kind of has a unique way of explaining it, so I wanna explain that way, then I'll kind of explain it, and hopefully one of those two ways will make sense. The beginning of the semester, I didn't really have a whole lot of expectations of like how it was going to go. I've heard horror stories of like first year teachers cry all the time and they go home and every day is nuts, but this semester has been awesome. I have grown so much as a teacher and there's been challenges I didn't see that would come up and there's been times that have been so fun and I've loved getting to know all of my students and so it honestly has been so much better than I expected. It's been hard. It's been one of the hardest seasons of my life but I love it and I am so glad. Um, I have the students that I do, that I'm teaching what I teach because I'm loving it and I'm really growing as a person and as a teacher and all that. The reason why they have you do this is they just want to teach you how to speak it because math, since it's written in all symbols, if you don't know how to say it in English to communicate your thoughts to a person, then you just kind of start describing symbols. You say, well, five to like the little teeny three equals sign 125. No, you should be able to say five cubed equals 125. That makes a lot more sense to our ears than just I think probably the biggest source of encouragement and support I've had is through my peer consultant. Um, she comes at least once a week to either like observe teaching and she'll collect data on specific things that I ask for, or we'll come to conference and talk about different challenges I'm having or lessons. And that has been so helpful to sit with somebody who is a seasoned professional who can walk me through, well, this is what we mean when we say this this or this is what your principal is looking for with this observation or all those different things that just ease the burden of this is my first time around everything um, my other like co-teachers in the department have been really awesome about like kind of taking charge of different chapters so uh, we kind of pass the leadership around so it's not all on me to do like all the lesson planning all the tests all the review all those different things we share as a department so we each can kind of capitalize and that's been really nice because then we're making common assessments so all of our kids are getting tested over um, the same things and we kind of bonded as a group and yeah it's been fun and they run out of fancy names after cube, but they call it the fourth root. I could put a five and they'd call it the fifth root. I could put a 10, they'd call it the 10th root. So whatever number this is tells me what type of root that I want. I didn't expect to leave every day so tired. And not like physically tired, like I sit down on the couch and I feel like I'm just gonna sleep for 10 hours, but just mentally, exhausted because during the day, even in just a five minute time span, I can make so many mental decisions on the fly that my brain is just done by the end of it. Because you know, you're getting class started and kids ask for pencils and they're going on all this stuff and you're getting all these things done and the next thing you know in the first three minutes of class, you've made about 15 decisions internally while still talking to your class and doing this. So then when the day is actually over, you're like, I don't think I can think anymore. <laughs> It was just that bad? It was just that bad? Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to being a little bit more ahead of the game. I'm looking forward to like being able to apply all the things I learned this first semester from the start second semester. I had a great start to the year. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better first semester. I'm just excited to see those small changes that I learned that this is going to make this from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. For next semester. Fourth root of 81 equals? Three. Ooh, thank you for not saying nine. Um, because three to the fourth is 81. The reason why some people shouted out nine, not in this class, my other classes, is they did not pay attention to my index. I love my job. This semester, like in one word, would be awesome. Tiring, but awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, because at the beginning of today, you would not have known in a million years that the square root of five to the fourth power is 25. I am 100% positive you would not have known that walking in my room, okay? But now you do, you know how you can simplify those things. 